I'm sure everyone's experienced or used a site that has terrible navigation. Half of it comes down to a bit of planning. Well, most of it comes down to planning. But it's also important that editors have a nice and easy way to manage menus. So in this video, we'll look at creating and managing custom menus. Now, as usual, if you want to read this tutorial, head, head over to the link below. If not, keep watching. Here is my Drupal 8 site. And to begin, go into Structure, Menus. And from here, you can manage all of Drupal's menus. Now, a few of these are switched on by default, or sorry, are added by default. Um, this administration one is used to control this administration bar up the top. Uh, the tools is used, um, I'm not quite sure what that one's used for. But the footer and main navigation, I think is created when you use the standard installation profile and the user account menu appears uh, in the top right. But let's, let's now create our own menu. So to create one, just click on add menu and let's call this popular categories because this will be a curated list of popular categories. And just click on save. And to create a link, just click on add link. And let's enter in a link title, which will be Drupal. And I do know that we have a taxonomy term called Drupal. And something that's new in Drupal 8 is that this link field is an autocomplete. So if I, if I enter in a content title, it'll bring back all the ones which match uh, this value. Now the problem is, as far as I know, is that the values which are, which are, which are returned are only content types. You can't enter in a taxonomy term. Okay. And, but most of the time you will be creating menu links to other pages. So it does make sense. But in our case, we need to point this menu item or menu link, sorry, to a taxonomy page. So I will enter in the direct path. So that'll be taxonomy slash term uh, slash term slash one. Now, another thing that's new in Drupal 8 is that you have to enter in a forward slash. If I was to add this as the link and click on save, you will get a validation message. And I'm sure there's a particular, there's a good reason for it. It must have something to do with the new menu system in Drupal 8 or the routing system. So let's just click on save. And now we have created our, our menu link, which only has a single menu item. Now to add this to the, to the front end, just click on structure, block layout. And let's have a look at the available regions. And what we'll do is we'll add it to the footer first. So to do that, scroll down to footer first and click on place block. Now, if I search for categories, you will see that to appear because we created a views block in a previous video called popular categories. But then we have our menu which has a category, a block category of menus. So take note of these categories. So to add the popular categories menu, just click on place block. And from here, you can control a whole bunch of things. And we covered most of this stuff in a previous video, but something that is uh, specific to menu blocks is this menu levels. And this allows you to control which level is initially displayed and also how many levels will be displayed, okay? But for now, just leave it as is. And you can control the visibility settings. Again, we covered all this stuff in the blocks video. And then just click on save block. And then click on save blocks right at the bottom. If we go to the home page and scroll all the way down, you should see popular categories down here. Now, if you want to modify these menu links, you could go through structure, menus, and so on and so forth. Or if you click on the contextual link, just click on just click on the link and then edit menu. And this takes you directly to the edit menu page. 
it, it just makes an editor's life much easier. Okay, now let's look at adding in menus directly from a content page. So click on content, add content, and click on basic page. And let's just create an about us page. About us, about us. And on the right, you should see this menu settings. Check the provider menu link, and you'll notice that the link title is automatically pulled in from the page title, which is great. And you can control parent items if you want to if you want to set up a particular level and also the weight. The weight controls the order in which the menu appears, the menu links appear on the menu. Let's just click on save and publish. Now, we do have a problem, okay? Notice how about us appears before home. This can easily be fixed by reordering it, but if we go back into the page, you'll notice that you can't actually reorder the menu from here. Yes, you can change the weight, but it's hard to see the existing menus. So often what I do is I would create the menu from here, leave the weight as it is, and then go and edit the menu, and then just reorder it. That's the best way of doing it. And now, the menu should be home and about us. And that is how you manage menus in Drupal 8.